students so the topic that we will be taking up today and discussing in this video lecture is one of the important topics of your 11th biology syllabus and that is root all right so you can see on the screen the 3d model of root all right i'll just show you the structure how it looks like and you can see the branches and all so we will be starting uh, studying this uh, entire structure of roots in detail in our uh, coming minutes and we will be studying about the modifications the functions and all about this root category now so if we have to define root first all right so we know that root is one of the essential organs of the plant body all right so this is considered to be as one of the essential organ of the plant body which is meant for water and mineral absorption absorption from the soil all right so this is the function and definition of root now if you have to define the uh, you know if you have to study the categorization of root then roots are of primarily two type all right so root is of primarily two type so the first one being called as tap root and the second one which is also very important is called as adventitious roots or fibrous roots all right so the model which you can see on your screen all right this model which you can see on your screen is uh the figure of the tap root so in this lecture we will be discussing in detail about the tap roots all right so this is a tap root fine now we will be now moving on with the tap root parts okay now so let's just first begin with the labeling part and then we will be discussing its description so we know that this is a tap root system now the tap root system basically consists of three roots in them all right so the tap root consists of three roots in them one is being called as primary root so this main root which you can see this main elongated root all right this one this one is considered to be as the primary root which is the main root that is actually going to give uh, branches give out branches so this one is the primary root all right this one is considered to be secondary root all right and the branches which you can see that is actually emerging out from the secondary root is called as tertiary root so this one is considered to be as tertiary roots all right so 
overall we can say that the secondary root and the tertiary roots they are considered to be as the lateral roots so they are considered to be as lateral roots since they are emerging from the primary root itself so they are called as lateral roots they are considered to be lateral roots all right now now let me show you each of the root individually to you all if i have to isolate the primary root only so you can see that primary root is the root which is the main root all right and yes this is this is ultimately going to give rise to branches so this is the primary root which is the main root which is the main root all right now next we will be talking about the secondary and tertiary roots now if i have to point out only the tertiary and the secondary roots so this is the secondary root and these one they are the you can say lateral roots lateral or tertiary roots all right this is the case now the very next important point about these roots is that you know these tap root actually emerges out all right from the radical of the seed so tap roots emerges from the radical of the seeds so this is one of the important point about their origination so that they emerges out from the radical of the seed all right and we have seen that this tap root is having three roots in them all right so the tap root gives out primary root and primary root in turn is going to this primary root in turn is going to give out to secondary and tertiary roots all right so these are the two important points that we have see all right now the next important point is that where these tap roots are actually being found so these tap roots which you can see with the primary root you know present over here like for example this primary root being present over here or the secondary root which is present over here along with the tertiary roots in them so these uh, this tap root system is a very characteristic feature of the dicot plants all right so tap roots are found in dicot plants that means dicotyledonous plants and one of the best examples is mustard all right so this is about the description of the tap root system that we have seen now you know uh, in case of the tap root systems there are modifications also being found 
which is one of their important characteristic features tap roots are also modified to uh, perform certain specialized functions all right to give rise to certain specialized functions so these modifications are performed with respect to two functions either for storage of food or either for the respiration purpose so this we will be also talking about so now if we have to talk about the modifications in the tap roots all right so modifications in tap roots all right so in case of modifications of the tap roots as i already told you that there are two modifications which is primarily being present all right so the first one is being called or is for the storage of food it is for storage of food all right and the second modification is for respiration purpose you know tap roots they not only are meant for absorption of water and minerals or any other root is not only meant for absorption of water and minerals but they also perform certain specialized functions as well so the functions of specialization might involve the storage of food might involve the respiration as well all right so in case of storage of food you will be very surprised to know that these uh, tap roots they are they they get converted into different shapes they modify themselves into different shapes and all the things all the modifications and all the detailings of this uh, uh, content of the tap root is provided in the content or the slides that will be th that is present in your uh, description section of the video link all right so in case of storage of foods they are of primarily four types so they can be of fusiform roots they can be fusiform roots and this includes example of radish all right then there can be conical roots like they you know the roots they will they will acquire the shape of cone so there there will be conical roots as well and the example is that of carrot then there is nappy form roots and nappy form roots is a very classical example of the beet root you know which we eat in our daily life turnip or beet root so this is beet root and the last one is called as tuberous root all right and in case of the tuberous roots the example includes that of a very common plant which is mirabilis all right so these are you know the fusiform the fusiform roots or the conical roots or the uh, nappy form roots these are all the modifications of the root that will only store foods in them all right and the examples have been provided while you know there, there is some plant also that performs that performs a very specialized function of respiration all right and those plants are actually the halophytic plants or the plants that grows in highly saline environment all right so respiration is performed by very specialized plant categories or very specialized plants belonging to halophytes so performed by halophytes and halophytes are the plants growing in extreme saline environment so these halophytes they have a very unique structure present in them and that is being called as the uh, pneumatophores 
So halophytes have pneumatophores. in their roots and you know these pneumatophores it helps in the gaseous exchange all right so basically which helps in respiration you can say So, and one of the best examples of this halophytic plant where pneumatophores is found for respiration purpose is the mangroves plant. Are the mangrove plants. Alright, so in this section we have seen that tap roots not only will perform the function of uh, you can say the normal function of water and absorption of minerals but apart from that the modifications takes place in tap roots for performing certain specialized functions as well and those specialized functions can be either in the form of storage of food or either it can be in the form of respiration purpose so for storage of food we have seen fusiform conical napiform and tuberous roots are present and for respiration the certain structures are present in the roots called as pneumatophores in them all right which will help in the gaseous gaseous exchange process so the entire details of all the tap roots along with the uh, functions and figures uh, is provided in the content section of the uh, which is uh, present in the uh, which is present in the form of slides or pdf and that is present in the uh, provided in the description section of the video so you can just go through it along with that you know after practicing for the content as well you can also go for the quiz part as well all right so this was all about the taproot system thank you